Hey, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're here at my parents' house still, and we're getting ready to leave on our road trip. We're leaving in just a couple of days, Seth. Yay! Yeah? Be cool. Yeah. And so what we need to do today is check the brakes on, I think we're going to call it Maxine. What do you think about that, Seth? There? That's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Maxine? Because I accidentally called it a girl, I said, let's check her out, or something like that. And, uh... Max is a guy's name. Maxine is a girl's name. Maybe that's what we're going to go with. We'll see. But we got to check the brakes on Maxine and uh, check the spare tire. Make sure everything's ready to go. First thing we need to do is make sure all the tools are here for changing the tire. So the seat cover's got to come off. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, how do we get this thing up? Hmm. Maybe they go, maybe they go frontwards. This thing right here, pull that. Yeah. Huh. Nothing Bye. over here. All right, so the tools should be right down here, underneath the seat. What's this thing? Huh. Oh, this must have gone to an amp. Huh. Well, we don't have the amp anymore, but... Or maybe a subwoofer in the back. I don't know, but it's here. All right, so we got, we've got the tools that we need right here. This is the crank for the jack. This is... What is this thing? Battery's low. That's part for the jack. That's okay. Another. That's for getting the tire off. And here's the jack. All right, Seth. We're gonna check the brakes now. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is get this part off right here. Okay. So you put this end right in this little slot here and pop it off. Okay. Just kind of pry it off. Might have to do it on both sides. We'll see. There you go. Perfect. You got it. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna have to loosen these guys up before we jack it up. So which way are we gonna turn that thing? Counterclockwise. Right, here's a little here's a little tip. Righty righty tidy, lefty loosey. When you think about that, it doesn't make any sense. Really? No. So I if you turn it right, that's clockwise, that tightens the nut. Right. If you turn it counterclockwise, that's left, that loosens it. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. I think it's going right, I think it's you're crazy. Okay, counterclockwise. Now, the easier way to do it is to push down on it. Like that? Yep. No? Okay. So, another tip is to put your foot right here. Make sure it's on all the way. There you go. It's on all the way now. Put your foot right there and push down on it. Okay. Like, just like stand on it? You can it? stand on it. It'd be okay. No? Uh-uh. Doesn't that thing's on there tight, huh? Yes. All right, let me try. Ready? Yep. Okay, one. All right, you try this one. Put your weight into it, buddy. Bounce on it. Is it going? I don't think so. All right, I'll do them. I'll loosen them for you. All right, so they're all loose now. What we're gonna do is jack up the tire and take them all off and get the tire off to check the brakes. There, grab the jack and those two pieces. Yep, we're gonna need both of those. All right, so, so these two pieces here have to go together. Now look on here. Look right here, see there's a, there's that little divot right there? Right here. Yeah, that screw goes in there, the screw. Oh, the screw, so it goes yep. like that. Down here, hook it in that hole right there and start turning it which direction. Right there. Yep. Oh, don't move the jack around. Alright. So just keep turning it <clears throat> until you get the tire off the ground. And it's gonna get more difficult the higher it goes probably. Okay. One. Turn it. There you go. All right, so we got the brake pads off and they are due for a replacement. So we're gonna go ahead and change those out today in a little bit, but we're gonna check the back ones now. All right, Seth, you got two of them loose. Can you get that one? Yeah, probably. All right, put all your weight behind it. It's going. There you go, good job. Three. Okay, now we're gonna check the spare tire, but first we gotta get it down. Ready? All right, Seth, so put it in here. This one. I don't think so, just try to fit it in there. Slide it all the way in until it won't go in anymore. You want to kind of feel around in there. There should be, there should be something that it's going to fit into. 
gonna turn it. Oh. There you go, see it now it fit in there tight? Yeah. Now you wanna crank it. Which way do you wanna crank it? Okay, now you look right down here. Spinning. Yep, you got it loose, so keep lowering it down. You gotta go all the way down. All right, so you wanna lay down in there and there's this piece in the center, you wanna push it down in there. Okay, push it down and turn it and lift it out. Okay. See where, see where that cable goes in there? Yeah. Okay, so push that down in there, then turn it sideways and lift it out. It's got to come out. Sideways. Of well, let's see. Yeah, you know, it's got to come out. So turn it sideways. There got you go. It. Perfect. You did it. Good yeah. job. Yeah. Just heavy. <laughs> This thing's dirty. We'll just go over here, rinse it off, and then check the air pressure in it. This is the tire pressure gauge right here. Take that off. Right, same yep. way. Yep, always. Almost always. Yeah. Counterclockwise to loosen. I just push it straight on. Don't don't push this button here, that resets it. Okay. Like this? Yep, just push it down. Okay. Take it off. Uh, looks like 15. Need some air. <laughs> okay, you can lay it down. Now this goes on it, you squeeze this. And this goes on it and you let go of it. Okay. Then you squeeze this trigger. Okay, I go. Good. Alright, so what's it say now? On the red. Um, not sure. Let's see. In between zero and twenty. Yeah. Okay. So you want to squeeze it for a minute, then let go. Yeah. Squeeze it for like. Just squeeze it. I'll tell you one. Okay. You can let go. Went up a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. You got it? Good job. Pull it straight out. Got it. Good job. <sighs> okay, now we gotta just go get the brakes and put them back, put them on. Okay. The rear brakes are fine, we don't need those. So we're just gonna replace the front brakes. Seth and I went and got the new brakes. And so you can see the thickness difference here. It's about twice as thick, the new one, as the old one. So we're getting ready to replace them now. Dixie. Dixie. She's smelling something out. Dixie. If you see something you want to record, just, just record it, okay? I am. <laughs> I was recording Dixie. <laughs> okay. So you got the new brake pad sliding in. Yep. Now, put this first pin in the top. So the fronts are called pads and the backs are called shoes right. or boots. Shoes. Boots. Shoes. <laughs> I like boots. Don't you want to call them boots? Hey, Dixie. What Would you, you doing? Reach in there? Grab that tool out of there. Sure, I'll reach in your it. pocket. I feel a wallet and a tool. And a knife. All right, so we got the brakes done on this side. We're just going to put the tire back on and do the exact same thing to the other side. We will see you when we're done. All right, Sather. Our work is done, my friend. Yeah. Now we're going to go out and give it a test drive and make sure everything works like it's supposed to. Make sure we can stop. Think that's important we can stop? Yes. Me too. All right, let's go test it out. Oh no, Seth, the brakes don't work. They're not working. Ah! Good, they stop excellent. Good job, Seth. Thanks for helping. <laughs> Welcome. All right, we hope you guys have a really great day. And keep smiling.